Here we have, man, my child. So. Guys, there she is. the channel today is an exciting day so you guys can see behind me we have the garage completely empty and that's because i'm making room for the civic to come home Yay! it's been a long past three months i would say now and the civic is finally coming back it is complete with its new cage and today you guys are going to see all of the details and everything that's pretty much been done within these past few months so you may be wondering what's next so now that the car is back it's time to put everything back together i still have a mock-up engine mock-up transmission in the car currently so i'm pretty much going to continue to just mock everything up until i get its final form from there i gotta determine am i going to be wrapping the car am i going to be painting the car so much decisions to make and i really don't know what's coming next when it comes to the exterior look i just know that i'm super happy to be picking up the car today and bringing it home we have the beautiful evo collecting some sun right now she is a garage queen i literally have cleaned out the garage to the best that i can i still have tons of parts that i need to sell i have these doors i have the drag wing i kind of just moved everything over here so if you're interested in any of these parts please go to my website check it out www.joannagmarie.com I have all the parts listed for sale and over here we have some more stuff we've got a brand new clutch master 725 series clutch never use that's on my website very great deal that I have it posted for we have some type s axles I got a valve cover tons of little miscellaneous stuff so don't miss out check out the website www.joannagmarie.com and here we have so many different boxes I got some vibrant performance parts that I'm going to be unboxing for you guys um, I don't know if I'm going to get to it in today's video, but maybe doing a whole in a separate video on unboxing all these parts. And here we have, man, my child, my new Precision Turbo. This is the new turbo that I'm going to be running on the Civic this year. Can't wait to unbox that for you guys so you all can check it out. That's enough talking. I got the garage pretty much cleaned up. I'm going to move the Evo back inside and then we can head to the fabricator. All right, we got the garage queen back in her natural habitat. I think I have just enough room for the Civic to fit here. Um, I got to move those boxes out of the way. We'll see how far, because I have a bigger wing and all this stuff now. So we'll see if it fits. If not, we got to make some, some room. But um, I'm excited, guys. The Evo has been sitting alone in here for quite some time. And now her brother or sister, I don't even know. I haven't named the Civic. I don't know if it's a girl or boy. But she's coming back home today and they'll finally be reunited. <laughs> so today's tow vehicle is going to be one of my friend's truck. I am testing the waters to see if I actually enjoy driving the dually or not. I, I've been considering one because I really need this to tow. I mean, technically you don't need a dually to tow. I just need a diesel truck. I mean, come on. The Raptor is an off-roading truck. I know it wasn't made for towing, but I bought it because it's comfortable, it's nice. I love the way it looks. And I was hoping to go off-roading with it at least once, but I haven't gotten around to do that yet. We'll see how the dually does today. I mean, this thing just looks so mean and it's really badass to be honest. I feel like a badass whenever I drive this truck. So we are at U-Haul. <laughs> Why'd you slam it like that? You had to tell them. <laughs> they didn't have the tray that Joanna needs, so now we have to go to a different location. Update, Kamali's behind the camera. I, I have not told anyone that you're gonna be helping today, so. Hi guys. We're gonna be pushing the car together today and getting a good workout in. So excited. <laughs> So we had the trailer hooked up, we were ready to go, and then what happened? So, <laughs> let, me st let me start from the very beginning. <laughs> First of all, I do have a trailer, it's not here, and the logistics of me getting it just did not work out. So I was like, let me just run a U-Haul for the day. Boom, quick and easy, right? Go to the first U-Haul, they don't have any trailers. Go to one that's 20 minutes, we get here, they just hook one up. Literally as I'm about to pull out, they're like, oh wait, we need that trailer back, we hooked the wrong one up. So now I'm just patiently waiting them to hook up the right one and hopefully it's the right one we've been like two hours trying to get a trailer this has been crazy i just want to see my car <laughs> <gasps> that's dope guys there 
There she is. I just noticed. <laughs> Even though somebody chose to leak my <laughs> on the internet first. Long story short, I made a post on my story because somehow somebody got photos of my car and posted it and I politely asked them if they could please remove them because I haven't even shared it yet. So you guys are watching this video, I haven't even posted about it. I haven't even seen it myself. I haven't been here in weeks. So I got really upset and they were basically like, and didn't take it down. So I reported it. It is what it is. We're here now. You guys are gonna get to see it and I'm gonna get to see it for the first time. And it looks good from here, so I'm excited. Let's go. All right, guys, I made it here to Ricky Chassis shop and look at this. So beautiful. Oh man, I'm so excited. I'm so happy to see it all come together. It looks really, really good. Let's start off with the front end. We got the Frank's fiberglass front end. Man, he really did a great job. You can see this thing fits perfect. Fitment is really, really nice along with the headlights. Moving on, we got the carbon fiber doors that I've been missing and needing for quite a time. I haven't seen them. I've actually bought them a while back and I never got a chance to mount them on the car. Ooh. Oh, he put the carbon panel on the inside. Look at that. Man, this thing looks good. Also have the carbon on the X bar. Looks really good. This guy does amazing work, guys. So I did the cage underneath the car so that way the bars are not in my way at all. If we go underneath, you can see, kind of, I'll have to put this thing on a lift so you guys can see better, but all the bars are done underneath the car. Very nice and clean. Here we have the carbon seat along with the steering wheel. Everything is pretty much custom as you guys can see. So I'm happy he even made this work for me. I was like, I want a rear view mirror. It's very beneficial to see and I can pull the parachute and see if it actually comes out this time. <laughs> I'm so excited to take this back home. This is just the beginning. I have so much more work that needs to be done. Now we gotta get basically everything mocked up underneath the hood, all the electronics backed in. I gotta get the dash mounted on. There's just so much little stuff that has to be done, but I'm just happy we're here today and I'm taking her home. So we got this custom wing done by Ricky Chassis. Um, looks kinda ugly right now, it's al aluminum. So we're gonna have to get it wrapped and all of that. But basically what this is for is downforce. So. On the shutdown now, these will kind of open to try to help stabilize the car. Since this car is front wheel drive, a lot of the weight is in the front. We have no weight in the rear end. What happens during shutdown when we pull that parachute, the cars typically go towards the front. So this should help balance it out and kind of push the car down. So I'm excited. Looks like a lot going on, but once I get these all powder coated, done really nice, the car wrapped, all of this will be wrapped. So it'll look really, really good and uniform with the car. So I'm happy. This looks really, really good. All right guys, so as y'all can see, the car looks absolutely amazing. Right now we're making some adjustments because I can't see over the steering wheel at all. Um, so we're gonna see if we can raise the seat up probably an inch or two. I'll have another seat in there and then we'll see if it, uh, if it works. Pretty much, there's gonna be a lot of adjustments needed until I have everything set up properly. We're really not gonna know like the pedals right now i'm still iffy about since the pedals don't really have a stop since they're not connected to anything it's hard for me to tell if they're placed properly i mean we did all the measurements when i came here last time and i sat in it and we did everything to the best ability as he could without me being here but as you can see it's off a little bit so it's fine he's doing a quick little fix right now see if we can raise that up a tad bit and um i'll have another seat and see if we can see over the steering wheel Let's test this out. Much better. Pretty much, this is my view now. And I can, I, mean, I feel like maybe a little bit more higher up, but pretty good. Earlier I was literally like this, this was my view. So now that we made some adjustments, I'm sitting up properly, I can, I can see. Yay. Super good. I love it. Looks good. Jeez. This thing is thick.
right guys as you can see man i'm so happy this is when the hard work comes in putting everything back together luckily i'm pretty much just copying pasting everything from my old car and putting it back in here only difference with this setup is that my car my engine is now lean meaning i have lean mounts and what that does is my engine before would sit straight now with the lean the mounts make it go forward we do that really for weight so that way the weight is definitely more pushed towards the fronts and there's several other benefits to going lean as well finally made that decision so i will have to redo all the piping underneath the hood let me show you guys so as y'all can see the engine is now sitting pretty much at an angle versus straight and these are just lean mounts that you pretty much purchase but this is really the fun part for me in my opinion now i get to physically wrench and build and just work on the car myself not at all the fabrication process is pretty much done still deciding if i'm going to paint wrap what i'm going to do i know a lot of you guys love the blue there's so many people right now with blue in my class so as i mentioned it's going to probably change um so we'll see what what color i end up doing i want to redo the whole cage in a color as well obviously so i don't know got some big decisions to make so right now I'm gonna go ahead and load the car on the trailer man i haven't used one of these u-haul trailers in forever this thing's kind of high so i'm a little worried but we'll see if it clears closed trailer is definitely a lot easier but hey we work with what you have just want to take this moment really quick to thank every single one of you guys for watching my videos for seeing the progress come along this car as i always say trust the process it took years to get to where i'm at today really with this build and honestly it just feels amazing to finally see it in person and all complete I mean, never really would have thought I would be here today with a full, pretty much sport front wheel drive, X front wheel drive car. And here we are. I'm just happy to, you know, have it back and finally get back behind the wheel and see if we can run a seven second pass. That's the goal. So thank you guys again. I really appreciate every single one of you guys who watch, who support my channel, support my Instagram with all the behind the scenes and everything I've been posting on IG. I'm so grateful for every single one of you guys. I love the YouTube community and how you guys really, you know, support the channel and have seen this build come from a 12 second street car to an eight second car and now hopefully this year seven seconds so let's see if we can make that happen let's go ahead and load the car on the trailer take this thing back home because i have to unload it and tons of stuff to do so let's go guys that's the last bit of ricky chassis shop that you're gonna see He's got some really sick builds in here going on. Looks like he's doing a, a cage on this one. Super nice. Got so many different projects here. If you guys are interested, definitely could contact him on Instagram or Facebook. But man, got some serious builds going on. So, mucho gracias por todo. I appreciate you. Que la orden siempre. Todo sali, salió super bien. Y I'm ready. I'm ready para la pista ahora. <laughs> I appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, we're off Back to Orlando Huge shout out to Ricky Chassis this car looks absolutely incredible I can't wait to put it all together And for you guys to see it all complete Still have so much more work to do Now we got an hour drive back to Orlando So let's go Quick update on the towing It has been absolutely amazing And I feel like I need a dually in my life now I really feel like a badass driving this Just how big it is And not only that, I can't even feel the car Or the trailer behind me at all So Really got some things to think about. If I were to get a dually, um, it's not gonna be my daily. There's no way I could daily drive this thing. Parking, finding parking is just difficult. Can't even go through certain drive-throughs. I'd probably run over some people and not even <laughs> know it. Um, for towing though, this is absolutely amazing. So if I don't end up getting a dually, for sure a diesel truck. I know a dually is a little overkill, but I just feel like every time I get something, I'm like, Oh, I should have gotten that. And if I get the dually, there's nothing else to upgrade to. That is the up ultimate upgrade. There's nothing else past the dually that tows anymore. Again, I know a regular diesel truck will do just fine. But I feel like with a large enclosed trailer, the dually just handles better. And it can't, I can't feel anything. So just had to update you guys on that. On another note, guys, I am just all smiles. I'm so happy. I'm so grateful. I'm just honestly speechless. Like, I have my car here. It's been a long three months. It's just crazy how time, how fast time goes. Already three months have gone by. And, you know, I was hoping to have the car almost near done around this time, but it is what it is. I'm just going with the flow. The car's gonna be done when it's gonna be done. I'm gonna do everything in my power to get it done as fast as possible. I do have some fabrication that needs to be done under the hood. Like I said earlier, now that I have a lean engine, I'm gonna have to redo all the piping, which is all those boxes that you guys saw in my garage. 
all from Vibra Performance, so I have to do some unboxing. I will do another video unboxing all of those parts and kind of um, showing the car a little bit more now that it's gonna be in the garage, talk about future wrap ideas and things like that. So that'll probably be the next video, so be on the lookout. We'll go into more of a discussion on what's to come and wrap ideas. I need some help, guys. I really can't decide on wrapper paint. And the reason why I'm torn between the two is because I know wrap is going to be so much faster. Paint is just going to take a while. It's going to take a month. You got to let it cure. You got to do this and that. Where a wrap, you just wrap it. Could possibly have it done in like a week or two. We'll see what I end up doing. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. I thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. <sighs> I'm, I'm just speechless and overwhelmed with so much joy right now. Like just feels so surreal. I've been waiting for this day for a while and I just can't wait for the day we get to take it to the track, which is coming very soon. All right, made it here safely, thank God. So now I'm here unloading the Civic. We go return this trailer back to U-Haul and she can be parked in the garage. I have a ton of content and stuff that I gotta get done um, before we start working on her. So I'm so excited for what's to come and she gets to go back into the garage. Got one more strap to do and then um, should hopefully roll right off. All right guys, we made it home and this is so crazy to see both of the cars in the garage. I'm happy that the Civic fit because I thought it was gonna have some issues. I have all the stuff back here, but we made it work. Got all these boxes. So next video for sure, gonna be unboxing the turbo, all the vibrant parts, showing you guys everything that's coming. This is uh, cutting it pretty close. I think once I open these boxes, we'll have much more room to work with. Again, help me out on these parts. If you're interested in any of the parts, please check out my website so I can make some space in the garage this is crazy to see guys i'm so happy i'm so excited for what's to come and i can't wait to finally get back to wrenching on the car i think my favorite part i love how the front end fits but man this design that ricky did as you guys saw is pretty awesome helps with the shutdown a ton there's only one other car to my knowledge that has this setup and it's rafa not the racing if you haven't heard of him be sure to check him out he's the one that pretty much told me about this setup and we kind of just copied it because Ricky was the one who installed it in his car. He said he has no issues with the shutdown. And ever since he installed this, he noticed a huge difference. So I'm excited to test that out and see exactly how it feels now. But man, this thing looks so good in the garage. So happy. I actually like the white a little bit, but again, it's going to be something different. I want something that's going to stand out. I want something that you guys are going to see at the track and be like, this is Joanna's car. Because right now, there's like two other blue cars. So you guys... We're getting it confused before, so I want to make sure that that doesn't happen, and all smiles. <laughs> so that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so grateful for every single one of you guys. It's really crazy to see the Civic back home, and we're on the road to running hopefully sevens. That is the goal for this year. Hopefully we can make it happen. We are only getting into April now, so I think we have plenty of time. Summer's going to be a lot of testing to get done, so got some work to do so stay tuned for the next video guys thank you again so much for watching so grateful i'll catch you guys in the next one